when Phragmites takes over, there's no new plant growth, uh, no seeds will take will will take uh, hold because the sun can't get to it, and the Phragmites is smothering it. Ends up being 27. I'm Randy Vaughn of Michigan Flip, but I'm not going to talk to you about renovating or flipping houses this time. I'm going to talk to you about Phragmites. A lot of people don't realize what an invasive, bad species this is. This never used to be here. These are Phragmites. I can barely move through this stuff and I have two legs and two arms. So you can imagine a poor deer trying to get through this or, a, or geese or rabbits or squirrels. It just doesn't happen. This mass of Phragmites is called a stand. This stand, it goes back three quarters of a mile. Three quarters of a mile of wildlife is completely knocked out. It's growing in alarming amounts. This is my dad. He's lived in Michigan his whole life and he's on the board of the Michigan Oakland Township Parks and Recreation. The roots go 60 feet in the ground, underground. How tall would you say this stuff is here? It's probably 10 or 12 feet high. I had to cut it with a saw uh, to, uh, to get it out of here. This is from last year, and the new stuff hasn't started growing yet. This is the most invasive species that we have here, and it's hard to even break it. That's why the animals won't go through it. It's devastating, you know, where this Phragmite grows, and it spreads to about 100 feet a year. This is something that is uh, is really bad. And if it catches on fire, it goes. It came from uh, Australia originally, and they brought it over here to use it as a barrier, and it's gotten out of hand and out of control. The stock is almost probably 15 feet. Each one of these pods, I mean, they're not full now because they've blown away. They have. Uh, 2,000 seeds in them and they blow in the wind and they reseed themselves all over. So if the neighbor is not taking care of it, he is helping to spread it. It exists all over Michigan. Look around you. It's everywhere. It could destroy this pond in only two years. It's going to affect the state, the township, the whole area if they don't, people, they don't start taking care of it. We're trying to get something set up in Oakland Township so that people will start being aware and make an effort to get rid of the Phragmites on their property. It is treatable. It is treatable. You can use two herbicides on it. In Oakland Township here, we have an area that we're doing it, and they're also doing it in Oakland County. you got to cut it, take it off, and spray it. And you have to do that again in the fall and then next spring. My dad and I don't claim to be experts, but we sure do claim to care. Please, start talking, create awareness, and be accountable. Because this species, well, it overtakes everything.